Here's a photograph of the first restaurant we had in Lymington called Au Bon Plaisir. And the next one is the house that we bought in Brighton for £4,000. This is me inside the house. And here's my dog called Caesar, who I had for about 14 years. And this is inside the Turin restaurant in Brighton with a group of friends. 1963 and the move to Brighton. Um, what we um, did was to search around to try and find uh, an existing uh, restaurant that we could buy. Um, but we were unable really to find one. Uh, the only one we found was uh, being used at the time as a transport cafe. And it had the grand title of the Rumble Tum. Uh, we didn't actually keep that name <laughs> and changed it to the Turin restaurant. Um, one of the um, things that had been used for was making breakfast for lorry drivers. And lorry drivers are notorious in wanting very strong tea. And uh, neither Paul nor I were very good at this kind of work and um, didn't ever make tea strong enough for these guys. And I'm not sure really whether I ever cooked the breakfast quite right for them with their fried bread and bacon and baked beans. So we got rather labelled as a poor pair and that uh, we would never make it in the restaurant game. But of course um, our intention always had been that we would do this for a short period of time and then we would move over once we got the uh, license to sell wines and spirits that we would move over then to doing just lunches and dinners. And so eventually we uh, managed to drop the breakfast, thank God, and I'm sure they were all happy to, <laughs> to move on to another place. But um, it became um, a very successful uh, little restaurant. In the early days, in the early sort of 60s, uh, Brighton didn't have that many restaurants, so we managed to find a niche in the market and we served um, sort of, it was a bistro style kind of restaurant, uh, serving um, it mostly Englishy kind of dishes at lunchtime and then more Frenchy kind of meals in the evening. Um, we used to um, do lunches from what time now? From twelve o'clock till two o'clock, and then dinners from uh, seven o'clock, no, six thirty, uh, until nine thirty. So it was quite short period of time. But um, I used to do all the cooking and um, and all the preparation. So it was a fairly full day for us. We uh, to start with, we used to open six days a week. Uh, and then after a few years we went back to doing five days a week because um, I really found that uh, I was getting quite exhausted and I guess as the years went by um, my mind started to move over to thinking I really don't want to do this for the rest of my life but we needed to um, have some money coming in so that's always an incentive of course is that when you've got a good business then you need to hang on to that business because you need the money and um, over the years we managed to get into the good food guide uh, into Egon Roney and um, one year we managed to get in the Michelin guide which was quite um, a feather in my cap as um, I was doing all the cooking I think what I'd like to do is um, stop there and um, talk a little bit more about that um, at a later stage. So, and I want to add some photographs, so I'm going to um, stop and I'll do the photographs and send this out. Okay, so I'll talk to you uh, a little later on. Bye now.